My name is Mandy Berlin, and this is a letter to my sister. My sister's name is Katie, and after living with me for 15 years and 51 weeks, she moved to another state to study music education. Every once in a while, when I want to talk to her, I go to my room, turn on my camera, pretend I know what I'm doing, and I call it a letter. This is a documentation of my life, and it's how I get by until her next visit home. Dear Katie, I am pretty much at the end of my first semester of my freshman year of college at Edinburgh University, and it was very hard. Not my classes. No. No, my classes were easy. The hard part was just in college itself, and there were two ladies who made it infinitely easier. And I want to use this video to talk about them. Their names were Grace and Andy. My first week at Edinburgh, I was alone in the dorm because I moved in early for band camp. I believe it was Thursday of band camp that actual move-in day was. And I came back to the dorm and it wasn't empty anymore. It was blooming with life and sitting on her bed was Grace Cole. Now, little did I know at the time, this was a view I would come home to quite frequently. Grace, chilling out. <laughs> and little did I know that she would become one of my favorite people in the whole universe in the span of just 15 weeks. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we are taking off the, um, like, saran wrap kind of thing from my tattoo. Okay. So this is the second one. It's oh. like a snake skin. It's like yeah. a snake skin? Oh. The first time, this definitely hurt more than getting the tattoo itself. <laughs> She's a terrible noise. You're like a wow. lunchable. <laughs> Plastic oh wrap God. comes off. Jesus Christ. I'm offended. <laughs> You're offended. I do kind of feel like a snake. Yeah. You look like when my geckos shed their skin. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Ah! Okay. Woo! She lives? Oh my god, I thought I was gonna like die. Let's see it. Let's see the fit. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. There you go. I think I need to like wash it now. Grace is funny. She's smart. She's sarcastic. She talks sense into me when I'm being ridiculous. Okay, can you just like say something like funny, like <laughs> on command? Yes. Um. Ooh, you only have to be 18 to get into a motel six. I think you know your plans for the weekend. I think so. Stay in freaking motel six. I've never been to one. I would. Are they? It's a chain. So are they nice or are they still like motels? Well, I mean, I think it depends. McDonald's is a chain, but not every McDonald's you go to is a good mm. McDonald's. True. It's in New Haven, which is very bougie. So part of me thinks, like, it'll be a bougie motel, but the other part of me thinks, you know, if you're going for bougie in New Haven, you know. Then you probably wouldn't go for a motel. Yeah. An interesting dilemma. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there were words. I wish there were words to really explain Grace. You just have to meet her. You just have to know her. And I hope that she knows how much she is meant to me because she is transferring. And she is moving out this week. <laughs> Life is full of people that we meet along our journey. They, they gift us things, they teach us things. Grace taught me how to play pool my first week here. They help us become who we're meant to be, but they don't always stay. And that's been the hardest lesson to learn in college so far. But I love her. I love her, I love her, I do. And I hope she knows just how much she's meant to me. Now, I had anticipated that I would like Grace. 
I had no way of knowing that if I wandered just across the hallway where our bathroom is, on the other side of our suite would be Andy. My first couple weeks here, I wasn't sleeping well. It was the middle of the night and I went over and knocked on her door. And she opened it and she met me with a hug and we sat on her bed and we talked for two hours about everything, about nothing, about the things that bothered us. And at first glance, Andy and I aren't that alike. She's like sporty and she likes to party and I'm not like that. But in our hearts, we're a lot more alike than we realized. And when Grace told us she was moving out, I told Andy that I was afraid to be alone on this side of the dorm. And without hesitating, she said, you won't be alone. I'll be here. It's you and me, Mandy. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna have each other's backs. And I don't think I could ask for any better people to live with. You know? So, yeah. It seemed fitting that my first semester would end with one last hard lesson. But it was also full of gifts. I think God knew that I'd need good people to live with. A home away from home. 